Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to take a look at the Freedom Class Mark II. So yes, the Freedom Mark II has two warp nacelles. Ooh, imagine a Freedom Mark III or a Freedom Mark 16. Now we're talking. But today we're going to look at the Freedom Mark II. I thought an interesting matchup for this would be to put it against the Constellation class. But this has been retrofitted to the TNG era. One thing I find interesting about this ship is that the warp nacelle is actually longer than the saucer section. Okay, here we go. Now the Stargazer, of course, is less advanced than the ship. This is a newer ship. But the Stargazer can fire six photon torpedoes. We can only fire four. So it may balance out. Crikey. Okay, so they've already got some hull damage. It's such an odd looking ship, this, it really is. It's weird how they kind of stack them the cells like that, too. At an angle. Oh gosh, can you imagine if a torpedo malfunctioned and exploded there? Now that is a very long phaser burst. Wow. There are some very interesting ship designs, particularly in the Battle of Wolf 359. It's almost like they just threw together all of the spare parts they had for other ships and <laughs> made ships, possibly. Now, we do have to be careful with our torpedo launcher because... Oh! If we lose those torpedo launchers, we could be in trouble. Although they've just lost their shield generator. The torpedoes reload very fast in this ship. Target hull integrity at 50%. Well, that's gonna hurt them. Ooh! All right. Let's try that the other way around. Okay, here we go in the Stargazer. If you haven't already seen it, JTVFX does a really good animation of the Picard maneuver. It shows the story about what happened. And you see the Ferengi ship as well. It's not a Ferengi Marauder, it's an unusual type of Ferengi ship. And yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And you can see why Picard had a reputation. And ultimately, I think that's why he ended up with the flagship of the Federation. Okay, so right now, I would have to say their shields are stronger than ours. So this is going to be tricky. Can we outmaneuver? Nope. Look at that, it's just hitting their nacelle. Actually, that's quite good, it protects the saucer. Full reverse. Oh yes, it worked! <laughs> That's great! Yeah, man, their shields are tough! And ours are almost gone. Oh. We've only got 60 torpedoes left, but I've got to be honest, I feel like we might need to use all of them. I like to think this had some TNG era upgrades, but of course upgrades can only do so much. Well, except the Lakota, of course. The Lakota incident. Bit of an exception. I think if the Defiant had opened up with Quantum Torpedoes, it would have been a different story. Yeah. Whoa. And sensors. Ah, rats. Okay, 
Well, the freedom class is victorious. What do you guys think of the design and that awkwardly positioned in the cell that's slightly more forward than the other? Am I the only one that has issues with that? Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.